There are only about 7,000 child care centers and family child care homes in the state. When demand is high and supply is low, two things happen. Price goes up, quality goes down. And I'll say that again. Price will go up and the quality will go down. The average annual cost of child care for a four-year-old in Virginia is $7,700. Of the 7,000 child care centers and family child care homes I just mentioned, only 8% are nationally accredited. So I think we can agree that the barriers are high for a family with two working parents and one child. And what if you add one or two or three more children? And what if one of the parents doesn't work? Or what if it's a single parent, which is the case for 30% of the families in Virginia? And what if they're living in poverty, which is the case for 14% of the families in Virginia? So what can we do? Unfortunately, my position with HII has given me some opportunities to try and make a positive difference. First, I'm a member of the steering committee for the Blueprint Virginia that Barry mentioned earlier. And this initiative, spearheaded by the Chamber, includes five goals related to early childhood development. To improve access to high quality early childhood education, a key determinant of both school readiness and third grade reading attainment. To address the fragmentation and gaps that exist in our current public policy approach to early learning. To improve the flexibility of existing state funding for at-risk preschoolers, which is the Virginia Preschool Initiative and to allow it to be more fully used at the local level, to identify opportunities for public-private partnerships to promote community-wide access to high-quality early learning, and to implement appropriate models from the private sector, such as pay for performance in publicly funded child care and early learning. A news clip featured on the Blueprint website perfectly sums up the intent of the plan. Pete Baker is the co-director of, of ODU's Virginia Early Childhood Policy Center, and he said, what we found is that if we don't provide Virginia's kids with high quality educational experiences when they're in their youngest years, then anything that we do after that is pretty much meaningless. 